In our world today, 20% of the population need 80% of the energy. On the other hand, 3.6 billion people need energy, but they have none at all. They have neither light nor power. The current situation in Ghana is that um, although the government and the people are trying to supply light to many people, the bulk of the people in the rural areas are not on the grid. Although we have energy supplies in the form of hydro, in the form of fossil fuel, still the bulk of the people rely on firewood and fuel wood. If you go into our villages, you'll find out that the bulk of the people have no light, obviously at night. As a result, the children cannot even do their school and homework. Their parents may have difficulty buying fuel. Anyone who deals with the topic of energy, anyone who wants to do something for the environment, anyone who keeps his children in mind and also wants to look in their eyes in the future, must do something. Take care that we enable the basic right of energy to those people who have nothing. If we are able to supply the bulk of the people who are not on the grid, who have no light right now, we will change dramatically their livelihood security.
This solar light system consists of the newest technology available on today's market. A battery is charged by a solar panel. And with that battery, three LED lamps bring light to the houses for approximately 16 hours. Very importantly, a cellular phone can also be charged. In the past, people had to go for more than 10 kilometers to charge their cellular phones. The costs are about one euro per month, including a guarantee for 10 years duration of life. I think if we from the rich countries and institutions can't manage to bring light to those people, then I think the world is really in trouble. I'm feeling good because at the vet we don't have light, but now we have get to so I'm feeling fine. <laughs>